During the Klondike Gold Rush in 1896, one dependable breed of dog that became a well-known freighter of the settlers and prospectors is the Alaskan Malamute. Before this period, the breed was peacefully living among the Malamute's tribe of the upper western regions of Alaska. It is said that for thousands of years, this breed and tribe lived together peacefully, hunting and working side by side. The Malamute is a large breed and was originally developed to perform the tasks of sledding and pulling heavy baggage across far distances. Travelers attest to its impeccable strength, stamina, and endurance over long distances. Today, when people look for a Malamute, they look for its sledding ability first before inspecting its other, less important abilities. The Malamute may be a large breed, but comparing to its contemporaries, it is surprisingly quiet and does not like to bark much. However, it is still a little stubborn, for it sometimes turns a deaf ear to the master's commands. This breed is fairly friendly to all humans, especially children, but hostile towards smaller canines and other animals. Said to have lived 2,000 to 3,000 years ago with a Malamute's tribe, the Alaskan Malamute is considered to be one of the most ancient dog breeds. Recent DNA and fossil findings have led scientists to believe that the Malamute is probably the closest living relative of the world's very first dog. Mm -hmm.